set the trap right here. Oh wow, no, they're not. He's dead. Oddly enough, they let him die. This must not be a survive with friends group slash. That was the one guy that joined after everybody else. Odd, but it makes it so the basement next time I go there, uh, it'll be ready to uh, capture. This one's already turned on, so I don't really have to worry about it quite so much anymore. Obviously they thought my trap over here was just plain cute. Whatever. Go ahead and put a trap here. I'm pretty sure they can see me right now, what I'm doing, and I don't really care. Uh, it's, it's more about psyching them out, if anything. Um, hey, Jake. Where the fuck did Jake go? This motherfucker disappeared on me, didn't he? There he is. All the way on the other side. He's right over here. There he is. I'm gonna break that because he's waiting to see if I do it. Right. Looks like he actually did run this whole way. Yeah, he did. There he is. No, I didn't. God damn it. Well, at least he goes out the window now. Yep, sure did. That was the noise he made. He's probably going to keep doing this. As long as he can. Which isn't very long. Can you believe he actually tried to run into a basement if there was a basement in here? Who does that? Who would purposefully go into my basement? Don't you understand? Basement team! Means nobody escapes the basement. Nobody escapes the basement! Go ahead and leave him there for some fun. Let's get some more traps. I've barely set any traps. And so while they're on him, I'm gonna come back over here. They're gonna go rescue him, which is good. Then maybe they won't actually see where I put this fucking trap at night. But they're watching right now, so I think they'll actually know exactly where that fucker is. Is there right around here, believe it or not? I'm not sure that was the one that ran to go save him. But we shall find out. More than likely from here, they either didn't go very far at all, or, uh... They went just barely far enough to start healing. Which is usually what happens. Oh, hey Meg, where are you going, Meg? Meg! I just try I just want to say hi, Meg. Why do you gotta leave like that? I just want to say hi. Can't a man say hi? Y'all come to my place, start messing with my generator. And you can't even have the courtesy to hang out and say hi to a guy? How rude. I'm just trying to have a little bit of company because it is lonely in the forest all the time being a trapper. Did I just trap somebody? No, I don't think I did. Oh, that trap's never been used. Grab it. She'll more than likely be back for this totem, which is really what I hope. And so I'm gonna put this trap right here. Odds of them running into this are pretty high. As long as I can push them back this way, which looks to be about right. Okay. She didn't go that way. More than likely went this way, to be honest with you. We'll go ahead and see what we can find. I'm not seeing any blood trails, which kind of sucks. Wherever they are, they're healing her right now. Though. Oh, right here. Oh, got her! <laughs> I totally thought I missed that one. Uh, something to know when you're the killer, it's pretty key, is they don't travel very far from that hook once they get de-hooked. They really don't. 
And the really, really cocky ones will actually heal them right underneath the fucking hook. And so if somebody gets a D hook, you don't need to camp. They're always gonna come save each other. And then when you're down to two people, it's really, really important to do this because then you know where the second person is instead of worrying about them possibly getting the uh, hatch. And so we know what direction they're coming from and we're gonna let them get her anyway. But what we wanna do is we wanna try to push them the other way if we possibly can into a trap. And they're here somewhere. There he is. There's Jakey. There's Jakey. Missed him. But that's alright. We know exactly where he's going. Got her. Now the odds of him actually coming back to rescue her again could be kind of small. I don't know for sure, because I actually miscounted. I thought there was only two of them left, there's actually three. Nope, she's dead on hook, so... I don't see anybody coming back for a dead person. Let's go ahead and check her exits. I've never let anybody make it this far against the trapper, so I don't know what's going to happen. He was like, no, the gate's almost open! I just need to push it one more time and I can leave! And I can leave! Yeah, you were close, weren't you? GG. GG. <laughs> now, I gotta be careful because whoever's gonna come get him might have decisive force or decisive action. Whatever the hell it's called. And so I need to let Insidious take effect so that way it doesn't actually have them inside my terror radius so it doesn't actually work for them. This is kind of campy, yes. However, the only open gate is right here. And the odds of them coming to save him are very high. Slash, this is the only exit gate open so far. So, it's kind of more strategy at this point than actually campy. I know it doesn't seem right, but uh, once again, it's, it's kind of along the lines of when you hook a guy right next to the fucking hatch. What are you supposed to do? Leave him and leave the entire area? How stupid is that? Why would I do that? The hatch is right there. And so, sometimes, unfortunately, campy-like behavior is needed. There we go. And we just pull him off instead of hitting him, and that way he's dead. GG. GG. Let's go see if we can find a hook to stick him on. Before he escapes, which I don't think is going to happen. He's kicking pretty hard. I got quite a bit to go. Yeah, I think he's off. Nope. Cool. GG. GG. See, right there, he disconnected right when he got hooked. That's a really common occurrence you're going to find when playing this game, is people don't like to know they lost. They really think that they are entitled to being able to escape alive every time. And they'll use excuses like, oh, that guy was camping, so I DC'd, man. That's just bullshit. Dude, I hooked the guy right next to the only open gate. What was I supposed to do? Okay? So really, the whole idea behind camping or blaming it on a camper, in this case right here, is really just an excuse by somebody who's amazed they just got their asses handed to them. Which is a very common occurrence with me and the trapper. I actually, uh, believe it or not, have been averaging a 4K with the trapper more than any other killer. And it's very, very rare I don't get a 4K with him. Uh, this would have been a 4K, but, you know, who's that name? PlayCC625, one of the DCers. What I do here is I always take a, a pistol.